It is no secret that Governor Jared Polis and Democratic legislators want criminal justice reform. Polis signed several bills to do just that last month. The governor also has control of the state parole board, which is starting to let more people out of prison. His attempt to reduce overcrowding in our packed state prisons has the Greeley police chief worried about the impact on public safety. Nine News reporter Ryan Herrer spoke with the chief about his concerns back into our community on parole. Last month, Greeley Police Chief Mark Jones took to Facebook to talk about a gang member found guilty of second degree murder in 1997. But while he was in prison, he also violently stabbed a, another inmate, and yet he's still being released, even though his mandator, mandatory release date wasn't supposed to be until April of 2043. And he told Nine News that he worries that the state's efforts to create more vacancies in Colorado's prisons could have public safety consequences. When you're taking time off of somebody's prison sentence for good behavior, and yet they've stabbed another inmate in prison, to me, that's an indication of what could happen whenever they're released back into our community. Jones points to guys like John Silva, who shot and killed a man in Greeley while on parole in 2001, and Joe Ramirez, who shot a juvenile at a park there in 2013 while out on parole for a second degree murder nine years earlier. I would say that we've started to see a pattern over the last few years where I believe more and more violent offenders are being released with less and less time served. <laughs> Governor Polis and state Democrats have made it clear they want less people in prison, but they've also been adamant in recent legislation that violent offenders won't get those benefits. In each of the last three months, more people have been released early to parole than any month in at least the previous 20 months. In April, 158 of those released early to parole were considered violent offenders. That's more than the Department of Corrections has ever recorded. But DOC says that even in this recent increase, violent offenders are still making up 28 to 35 percent of all releases, consistent with years prior. April saw an uptick in offenders being released on parole than ever, and it's because we've put in resources to help the parole board manage their caseload. People were sitting, waiting for um, a hearing before the parole board for months. Democratic right, State so Representative uh, Leslie Herod sponsored more than a dozen that. criminal justice what reform bills that last session. That includes a bill that increases the number of nonviolent offenders eligible for parole. So you can imagine she wasn't thrilled to hear about Chief Jones calling the prison and parole system broken. I feel like it's fear mongering at its worst. And quite frankly, it's something I would expect out of Washington, D.C., not something I would expect out of Colorado. Nothing in the reform bills that we passed this year affect violent offenders. In fact, each provision and each bill specifically excludes violent offenders. If you're going to not have as many prisons and you're going to let more people out of prisons, then to me, at the very least, there ought to be stricter guidelines whenever you're released and, and be revoked even quicker. Jones says he's seeing parolees get away with too much, and he may see even fewer revocations soon. Herod's legislation prevents revocations for technical parole violations, like testing positive for a drug test. She's headed in the exact opposite direction of where Chief Jones would like to see Colorado go. If I was in charge, I absolutely would say that we need more prison space. The governor's office shared a statement from the parole board this evening saying it's committed to connecting eligible offender offenders with reentry services in an effort to reduce recidivism, which is currently at about 50 percent. We'll share that whole statement online. The parole board and Herod tell me they haven't heard from Chief Jones. Herod says he's welcome to the table as they continue reforming the criminal justice system. Kim. And there's a lot of debate in that area. All right, thank you, Brian.